Welcome to Big League Dreaming, the podcast, a show about fulfilling your dreams and taking it to the next level. Whether it's baseball or life, we all just want to get better, better as players, coaches, and teammates. Our mantra, life is built on dreams. Ever since I was a kid, oh yeah, I was Big League Dream, I was Big League Dream, for as long as I live, always, I'm Big League Dream. I never got to bat in the major leagues. I'd have liked to have that chance, just once, to stand down a Big League pitcher. Make him think you know something he does. Chance to squint at a sky so blue that it hurts your eyes just to look at. To feel the tingle in your arm as you connect with the ball. To run the bases, stretch a double into a triple, and flop face first. Wrap your arms around the bag. That's my wish, Rick and Silla. On today's podcast, you meet us, the Gonzalez family from Comstock Park, Michigan. I'm John Gonzalez, a longtime baseball fan and former coach who has worked with players of all ages, from T-ball to the collegiate level. And I have three sons, Zach, Ty, and Zane, who all played collegiately and pursued their own big league dreams. What can you expect from this podcast? Well, we'll interview current and former players, as well as coaches and instructors, and we'll dive deep on topics such as the MLB draft or how the college game is changing. Think of this as a dinner conversation with our family. Then I talk about the value of putting in the work with my middle son, Ty, who also is the show's producer. He is based in Kentwood, Michigan, and he works for a manufacturing company, but he's coached high school baseball after his playing days were over. Me, I'm just a dad who hopes this podcast brings you a little inspiration to follow your big league dreams. Now, let's get to the show. Rolling. <laughs> I like that, Ty. Rolling. Here we, here we go. All right, so we just uh, got a chance to sit through uh, a press conference, media day for the uh, West Michigan Whitecaps. Uh, what, were you, uh, what were you thinking, Ty, when you were out there just like doing some video and, and listening to the players? What was going through your mind? I was thinking some of these guys look a little scared, and some of these interviewers, I don't know what they're asking about, just weird, random stuff. Like, what did you buy on your signing bonus? Like, why would you ask that? I wouldn't ask that. Right, because I, I don't know. I think sometimes people in the media um, just don't even know what to ask. I think that's what people want to know. Yeah. But I I don't know. I mean, for me, I'm more interested in the grind, right? Like yeah, exactly. How, the journey. How, they, how do you get from being a kid that loves baseball to play at the single A, high A, you know, and, and play professionally, right? Yeah. That's what I'm interested in. Yeah, absolutely. That's what I, you would think most fans would want to be interested in, not like what they're spending on or where they're living. Or One of the guys asked something about, uh, like, oh, oh, you're from Ohio State, so you're going to get hate or something. It's like, <laughs> I don't think they really want to hear that. I wouldn't want to hear that. Right. I think they already know about the Michigan and Ohio State rivalry. And yeah, yeah. Let's just talk about baseball. I'll tell you what, we are sitting right now in the uh, out deck, out, outfield deck area at LMCU Ballpark. Used to be Fifth Third Ballpark. They renamed it this year to LMCU Ballpark. Used to be uh, Old Kent. It used to be, yes, you're right. You have those early memories as well. <laughs> yep. Old, Kent, Old Kent Park. Um, so you obviously are the creator of Billy Dreaming, the the, the, the song. The album. The album. Yes. Uh, you know, and I love that song because it kind of gives your history, your life story, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, but baseball was was your dream, right, from beginning to oh, yeah. to today, even really. Yeah, really. Tell me a little bit about your journey, your dreams, your goals. I mean, you wanted to be here, right? Yeah, I wanted to be here on this exact field. This was the park I grew up in. I mean, you took us here all the time. I mean, this is where the the love of the game all started at a young age, and playing in the grass and meeting the players on Sundays and playing catch out there, and you kind of just fall in love with everything from the just the atmosphere being here and the the smell of it and you just fall in love at a young age and growing up uh around 12 or 13 is when I really wanted to start pursuing big league dreams and and pushing to get to the next level whether it was high school college and then eventually the pros hopefully so yeah do you, do you when you were thinking back to those days and sitting in the stands could you envision yourself out on the field yeah, I could envision it, and going to bed at night, uh, you envision yourself up to the plate, and bottom of the ninth, base is loaded, and you, you play through these situations and envisions in your head, and you hope one day that you could get there. You're just constantly visioning and, and manifesting and, and working towards these dreams, and hopefully one day that they come true, and that's just kind of what you do like the whole time. Right. 
Well, I know that uh, I love telling the story, and you're probably tired of it, but when you were a young child, before you knew your ABCs, you could identify every single Major League Ball team by their logo and their nickname. I mean, you knew the Tigers before you knew, you know, whether it was LMNOP, right? <laughs> yeah. I, th- I, I remember that sitting out here on this deck when I was like, I don't even know how old I was, too, but I can actually picture that sitting over here, and I don't remember who it was, obviously, but you saying – what's the city and then i knew it was toronto blue jays or <laughs> oakland athletics and i knew all of them right. <laughs> i was always a you're a fun party party favorite party trick yeah watch this kid he can <laughs> rattle off every single major league ball club um but that was cool so you so you get to high school and and you're you're grinding it out you pride you're prided yourself and you still do it to this day on your work ethic right i mean when people kind of talk about the kid that shows up early stays late always taking extra batting practice trying to get better at the, at the game or the craft i mean that's that was your signature right yeah that's my that is my signature that's my life signature yeah. it's always been my signature i mean even my senior year of high school i was at the i was in the gym me and my buddy would leave the the back door unlocked to the gym and we'd be there at 5 30 6 o'clock in the morning bring the cage down hitting there for an hour and a half before school would even start before the season was even I mean kids were playing basketball and still doing football and there we were hitting and trying to get better well I I, I always loved your dedication because I, I was one of those dads and coaches and I, I know you know this that I didn't push right I mean yeah. I didn't say like what are you doing you know you should yep. be out there working out you know you should yeah, I'd never had to push especially with you I and mean, all three of the uh, three boys uh, that I have, you were the one that I never had to say, like, you should be out there doing something because you're sitting here playing video games. You did play video games, but, oh, yeah. <laughs> but, 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 um, but I never had to say to you, like, if you really want to be big league dreaming, if you really want to make this, you know, your passion and where you want to go, um, you need to get it working. And I'll tell you, a lot of kids don't have that drive. The ones that I think are successful are the ones that, that do that without even thinking about it. Yeah. You notice that too. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it, it didn't really need to be pushed on me just because of like that's just how I grew up you know just watching you do everything for us and always working and always being awake and always doing stuff it kind of just rubs off on you and it's just kind of your upbringing it's just kind of a part of you yeah it's part of your DNA it's just how you how you live so I'll tell you what you get to college um you got a chance to play collegiately uh and you you had a chance to to play four years you played on playing to play in two years so what what happened on that journey because i know that you really i mean you you excelled I and mean, you went from being you know a bench player to being the team's mvp in two seasons right yeah, yeah. from being a like guy that never even got a chance to to play i mean in, in high school you were pitcher and you were a position player yeah and um, the team's best hitter and you get to college and all of a sudden you're in the bullpen maybe throwing every once in a while yeah it was definitely a weird transition going from high school to college from going to being one of the top players on the team to not playing at all it was definitely really really weird felt weird but it just kind of like lit a fire underneath me where I just wanted to push even harder I remember my freshman year in Kalamazoo I think I pitched maybe 10 innings total the whole season and it was the school's like best season like like setting records 40 wins and there I was just kind of on the on the bench so it was definitely a weird transition but it just made me want to work even harder. So that second season, I I did everything I possibly could. Like, I can still remember times where me and one of my friends would be out there hitting in the cage in the pouring rain at 1 o'clock in the morning with our our car lights on. Like, I just wanted it that much more. So it was it was tough at first, but I think it was good for me in the long run because it just made me want to work harder. Well, you worked harder. You got to be a big part of the team. Then you were doing everything, pitching, playing. I mean, I think you played – I mean, almost every position on the field. Yeah, I, I, that season I played every single position except for shortstop and center field <laughs> just because I'm so slow. <laughs> but, yeah, I played first, right field, left field, second, third, caught. I, I was the opening day catcher, pitch. Like, I did everything. Yeah, and, and that was fun to watch you kind of all of a sudden transform and take on that identity. But you didn't go play at the next level, the four-year college. You decided to not to do that. What What, what, what happened? Well, uh, I had a couple a couple different offers from some NAI schools, but they were really just they were really far away from home and and you know that just I'm Michigan made, Grand Rapids is I just love it here. Um 
I didn't want to. I didn't want to move super far, and it didn't seem like my best interest to play two more years of baseball to to go into a lot of student debt. They were they weren't giving me really any athletic scholarships, and they couldn't do much for me school wise either because I didn't really excel in school. That was always the one one spot I didn't work super hard at. Um, so I just kind of I just kind of gave it up, and uh, I started pursuing different dreams. Yeah, you started pursuing different dreams, and, and, and you kind of like said, "Oh, well, I'm going to do this instead." And and now, you know, you're, you're you're pursuing your other dreams, which is just basically to to be creative, right? Yeah. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Who was that? That was Larry Figurski from Channel Eight. It's fun to see all these media people. We're, as I said, we're the, the, the media days just wrapping up, and and we're uh, just kind of out here on the outdoor uh, outfield. I say outdoor on the outfield uh, deck, so it's kind of fun. To see everyone kind of walk by and the field looks so good they're ready for opening day uh, by the way the home opener is may 11th the season opener is may 4th and today is may 3rd your birthday actually yeah yeah birthday right away. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um but you decided not to not to play um is that kind of when you gave up your big league dreams same time yeah i think that's that's kind of when it all happened well, i mean it didn't really hit me until the last last game in kalamazoo i just kind of it kind of was like that's that's it that was it that was the last game really uh that's when it all hit me like I'm never really going to be able to play at this level ever again and it's always you always know it's going to be one day where you're not going to be able to play but you can't really prepare for that it just it all hits you at once and you just you just realize man it's over yeah I think it's it's a lot easier to do it as you're when you get older and you look back at that moment right yeah and you're like because to think about it at the time, it's so overwhelming, right? Because everything you've worked hard at since day one, right, is all of a sudden it's it's over and the new chapter begins. But it's also exciting because it's a new chapter in your life that begins. But you know, when you think about all the kids and all the people that are out there playing baseball that have those dreams, very few people make it to this level. Even, even at Class A or to get drafted or get signed to play, right? Very few people have that opportunity. Um, so it's it's rare I think it's more important to have the drive, don't you? Yeah, definitely. I mean, everyone, no matter how far they want to get in baseball or anything, it's the it's the work ethic at the end of the day that you that's what's instilled in you, and that's what you take with you on your life journey. So even though it's like, man, I can't play anymore, all those life lessons and all that hard work, it it carries on through your entire life. And no matter what you do, you just work hard at it, and it's just it's just a part of you at that point. All right, so we'll give uh, people uh, an idea of what you're doing today. Kind of, uh, I know you're what twenty. How old are you today? Twenty eight, <laughs> basically thirty. <laughs> you're twenty eight. Holy cow, you're an old man. Yeah. Uh, so what, tell people what you're doing today. Today? Yeah. What, what's what, what's your life like now today? Oh well, I'm married for about almost two years now. Yeah. In June, so that's really exciting. Uh, got an awesome wife. We have a YouTube channel together, and that's kind of like our. That's kind of my new work ethic, my new drive. I mean, we. We're pushing out videos every single day and working super hard at that and that's just kind of like that was uh what i brought over into my life what i was talking about earlier is that work ethic that drive now we we started uh we always wanted to start one when we were dating around 2016 2017 we were like we should start a youtube channel we could do something something fun but we never knew but then when we got engaged uh 2018 we're like let's just start this let's do this and it's pretty crazy that we started in the first year maybe our videos were getting 10 20 views and now we're getting thousands and thousands of views and it's it's just a testament that you can't you can't give up if you really want something you have to keep pushing you have to keep working on it because at the end of the day it's it's all up to you to put the work in so um, that's kind of what I got going on right now is is uh, the YouTube channel and we have a patreon channel and we just work super hard at putting out videos. Yeah, I definitely find them at TK Top Tunes. We'll make sure to put it in the show notes. So if you want to subscribe or at least check out uh, Ty, uh, TK's videos, you can do that. Um, Ty, I asked, uh, I asked uh, Zach this in a previous podcast about what advice you would give to young kids. Because we're, we're hoping a variety of all ages of people will listen to this podcast, You're from coaches to, to, to parents to, uh, to aspiring players. What, what piece of advice would you give to them, those young players? Number one, have fun. Don't get wrapped up in uh, how many hits you got, how many how many strikeouts you you did. Just enjoy every minute of it, and just enjoy the journey, enjoy the process. And at the end of the day, it's a game, it, and it teaches you a lot about life and about yourself too. So that would be the number one advice I would give someone, and maybe to my younger self 
too because I feel like at times I, I push too hard because I remember certain games like I'd go four for five and I would be upset because I missed the the three two change up right down the middle and I popped it up so I would say like number one just have fun and just enjoy it yeah I, I would that's a great great advice and I think too is to be a good teammate right yeah absolutely teammate because you can you can carry that all through your life and your job and and it's always good to be a good teammate because you can you can build that bond with other people and and you can build that connections with everyone um, lastly what do you hope people get out of this podcast I hope out of this podcast people get inspired to get up and go do something if there's something you want to do not just baseball but in your life get up and and go do it, it and if you don't if you don't get up and go do it you really probably don't want to do it so if, if there is something that you want to do or pursue you have to push and you have to be the person to push yourself you can't rely on anyone else to be there and say hey you need to do this you need to do this at the end of the day you have to rely on yourself to get up put the work in no matter what it is all right uh, thanks a lot ty and uh, big league dreaming right that's right big league dreaming Hey, it's Ty here from Big League Dreaming Podcast. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Be sure to give us a follow on Twitter at BLDPod. That is at B-L-D-P-O-D. We'd love to hear from you. Rise and shine. 6 a.m. and your hand can't make it to the alarm clock before the voices in your head start telling you that it's too early, too dark, and too cold to get out of bed. Aching muscles lie still in rebellion, pretending not to hear your brain commanding them to move. A legion of voices are shouting their unanimous permission for you to hit the snooze button and go back to dreamland. But you didn't ask their opinion. The voice you've chosen to listen to is one of defiance. A voice that says there was a reason you set that alarm in the first place. So sit up, put your feet on the floor, and don't look back because we've got work to do. Welcome to the grind. Yes, I got a dream. I'm talking that kind when you really can't sleep. No, huh, yeah, you know what I mean. I always been dreaming since I was 13. Working that bomb, we would freeze. Huh, taking my cuts off that tee. Yeah, doing planes till I fell to my knees. And I'm running till I couldn't breathe. Uh, see, I was getting in shape because I want to get better. Like 15 degrees, didn't matter the weather. Believe me, we just throwing three different sweaters. Give it all that I got, I just want to throw cheddar. I'm talking that gas real, real fast. I'm lifting these weights till I feel real bad. If you look me in the face, yeah, you know I'm going to laugh. If you step up to the plate, I'ma throw it right past, right by you, Louisiana. I'm a storm typhoon with some decent manners. Number 31, homie, read the banner. When I'm playing in the spring, I'm a CP Panther, and I'm proud of that. I'm dreaming one day that the crowd is packed. I wanna make it to the show, say you sounding whack. But through all these dreams and all these things, think I found my path. Like, whoa, yeah, my senior year, I got a college offer. Everything was clear. I was ready to leave. I didn't wanna be at home, I just wanna be free and just go out on my own life. Have you the kid in the school? Huh? Didn't wanna live by the rules. So I took it and I ran with a big league dream big league dream here i come gazo ever since i was a kid i was big league dream big league dream for as long as i live that's right said i'm big league dream ever since i was a kid yeah yeah i was big league dream i was big league dream for as long as i live oh yeah always i'm big league dream oh my the grind never stops no i wait till the last time on the clock like going to class until